This year, we brought the Gathering for Open Science hardware to Panama. This is my second gosh. My first one was Shenzhen. And uh, there I discovered a wonderful community. In 2016, we had the first GOSH, and that was really a chance to find anyone who was interested in open science hardware and was in any kind of community or leadership role and bring them together to kind of establish, is this a thing? Is it happening? How big is it? What's the potential? What are the challenges people are facing? Um, and what emerged from that was um, a manifesto for what open science hardware could accomplish, but also what the values of a community that's working towards open science hardware might look like. Um, and then we came back together in 2017 in Santiago and we developed a community roadmap. So 100 people came together to ask, what would it take to make open science hardware ubiquitous by 2025? And we produced a document that has a number of recommendations around learning about the community, supporting the community and growing the community to bring open science hardware to all of science. Um, that was a really impactful um, project, but we needed to then implement the recommendations. And so in 2018, we had a meeting in Shenzhen in China, and then that was really about putting the roadmap into action. We were supposed to meet back together in 2020, but of course, um, the pandemic stalled that. And so now we've come back together in 2022, which actually having the gap has been uh, really effective in that we've had now five years since the roadmap was put together. So our gathering this year in Panama was all about revisiting that roadmap um, and looking forward to what we need to do in the next three years to get as close as possible to our original goal, which was having open science hardware ubiquitous by 2025. This kind of freedom from imposter syndrome and reconnection to personal agency is what fuels a gathering like this, where everyone is invited to say what they want to talk about and ideas are clustered and we make the schedule together on the fly. It's a system called Village and also Marketplace in order to have frontline members of communities facing injustices together with scientists and technologists, people from vastly different backgrounds, also artists, educators. We did a lot of space holding and that space holding ranged from a code of conduct that worked online and offline to formats for events like this gathering, which is modeled in some ways off of unconferences that have been running in the tech world for 20 years, but more profoundly modeled on a method called open space technology that's been running in the peace movement since the 1980s. And gosh, is in that lineage of open space technology. She, your body, inert with Renando. El Collaborative Development Program en, en las dos etapas ha financiado este, este, este proyecto, lo cual la idea es poder lograr desarrollar o tener proyectos en la comunidad que sirvan como una referencia para que otras personas pues, puedan tomar como base y a partir de eso poder mejorarlos, eh, agregarles nuevas funcionalidades o quitarles otras, adaptándolas a, a sus necesidades. ¿no? As part of the logic community in Africa, we truly believe in the concept that is, lies behind the GOSH open source and hardware community, that we can utilize any technology that's out there and use it to solve challenges like in trainings, uh, anything that is possible to be done using this uh, kind of technology that is out there. There's a lot of groups here at the Gathering for Open Science Hardware that are working to create kind of new institutions or new groups that are outside of institutions that are trying to help reform science in a way that is more open and sharing. And so we're trying to, to help work with kind of the old guard as well as new people who are getting into uh, science and, and kind of trying to share what are the, the new opportunities that we have. Probably the most important thing about the GOSH community is making these connections between all of these wonderfully strange individuals who are all incredibly 
active and excited about sharing their thing and finding outlets and communities for them to share with.